Hello everyone, Wolfrey here. So today's problem, we're going to solve an equation. So this equation involves a big number of nested square roots. So it looks like this. We want to solve for like square root of x plus 2 times square root of x plus 2 times square root of x, so on and so forth. And the square roots repeat n times until we get the innermost is 2 times square root of 3x. And this whole expression equals to x. We assume all square roots, all roots here are non-negative. OK, so uh, we've seen some uh, similar problems before. And in previous problem, we tried to solve an expression with infinitely nested square roots. And the method we use is trying to assume that the sequence converge to a single number and then replace the infinitely nested um, square roots with uh, an equation that involves only two square roots and we solve for the value. Now for this one, we can apply the similar thoughts, although the process may look slightly different. But the thoughts is that we want to uh, construct a sequence and then each number in the sequence represents a layer of one uh, repeated time here from innermost to the outermost. So we, if we assume the innermost is, is like y1, and then we can uh, write all those square roots as yi all the way to yn. And then uh, from that, we want to establish some relationship between yi and try to solve this. OK, that's the solve. So let's do that. So because each item under the square root is non-negative, we denote each one of them as yi. So we have this. y1 is square root of 3x, which is y1 square equals to 3x equals to x plus 2x. And y2 square is here equals to x plus 2y1, right? So y, y2 square equals this. And we can write this all the way to yn squared equals to x plus 2yn minus 1. Remember, all the yi here are non-negative. Eventually, this equation means uh, we want to solve for yn equals to x. OK? So remember how we solve uh, the, uh, um, the expression problem is that we'll try to declare uh, or try to claim that yn equals to yn minus 1, because they all converge to the same number, and then we solve for the equation. But in this case, this will involve an x, which is an unknown. So instead of doing yn and yn minus 1, we actually want to prove the first one. So we actually want to prove that y1 equals to x which means y2 equals to y1, and then x can be expressed uh, as y1, so on and so forth, and we can find all of these values. But how can we prove y1 equals to x? Well, we can use uh, reverse proof here. So um, if y1 doesn't equal to x, then there are two possibilities. Either y1 is larger than x or y1 is less than x. Let's look at those. So if y1 is larger than x, which means y2 equals to square root of x plus 2y, two, 2 times y1, because y1 is larger than x, and all of these are just non-negative. So we can have um, this expression larger than square root of x plus 2x, which equals to y1. So we prove that y2 is larger than y1. So we can use the same logic to prove all the way that yn is larger than yn minus 1. Then we write all of this together. So yn is larger than yn minus 1, which is larger than yn minus 2, all the way to y1, larger than x, which means yn is larger than x. So yn cannot equal to x. Right? And then similarly, we can do the other way around. If y1 is less than x, we can also prove all the way that uh, yn is less than x, which cannot satisfy yn equals to x. And then give us only one possibility, that y1 equals to x. The rest is easy. So y1 uh, squared equals to 3x. That means x squared equals 3x. It has two values here. 
either x equals to 0 or x equals to 3. And if we plug that into the original equation, if x is 0, this is true. If x is 3, so each square root here, 3x is 9 square root of 3, 2 times 3 plus x is still 9, so all the way to the um, original, to, to the initial uh, square roots, they all equal to 3. So 0 or 3 are actually the only two real numbers, uh, real solutions for this equation. And that's it for today.